In this video, I show you how to set up Sticker Sync in Serato DJ and why it's important. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. In this video, I'll explain to you what sticker lock is and when it's useful. So first and foremost, sticker lock is pretty much only useful if you're using vinyl to control Serato DJ. If you're using controllers or CDJs, it's almost not useful at all. So this really goes out to all my vinyl users out there. Now, what sticker lock is, it's kind of a throwback to the old vinyl days uh, I know it from old battle d days when you're using vinyl to enter DJ battles like DMC or back in the day ITF where instead of having cue points like you would on DVS you actually had to mark your records like on the records with little pieces of tape or uh, little decals or whatever those were the original cue points so what sticker lock does is that it'll use a position on the record as kind of your marker on where cue points are so if you look on a regular Serato record, you'll see this line right here. This is just a visual representation for lining up the vinyl uh, with the clock method, which most DJs know about. So this would be 12 o'clock, this would be about 2 o'clock, you know, 3, 6, 9, etc. And this is useful for battle DJs or DJs that do a lot of beat juggling or just quick cueing so they know where the song starts or where the cue point is, where they would hit the cue point line it up so it's right here and then you know that the sound starts right here so for instance i can hit this cue point right here and i know that starts right there or if i like it starting with the needle which some djs prefer i can move it to about two o'clock hit the cue point and now the samples or now the song or sample starts right there me personally i'm more of a 12 o'clock guy just uh that's the way i learned but i mean the preference is all up to you now knowing about the the clock method on uh reading vinyl and using stickers for uh, cue points uh, with old vinyl. Now let's get into how to use sticker lock in Serato DJ, how to set it up. And as I walk through it, you'll get a better understanding of how it works. So if we go into the setup, go to the CD vinyl tab, right here under the sticker lock section, you wanna enable sticker lock. Now you have three options. You have spin nearest, spin forwards, or spin backwards. So for right now, let's go with uh, spin forwards. So what this does is that when you load a song, now notice how it didn't load right here on the beginning of the first cue point like it would if you had sticker lock disabled. So let's, let me show that again. So if I go to setup, turn sticker lock off, and if I load the song again, notice I have it set to start on the first cue point. This is another option in the setup uh, should be under DJ preferences. Right here it says play from first cue point. So if you have sticker lock enabled, it actually overrides that. So let's do that again. Sticker lock enabled, load, and notice that there's this gap right here. What this is, is it actually um, is the looking for the beginning of the time code. So if I push it forward, the time code actually starts right about there uh, as far as Serato DJ and reading for sticker lock is concerned. So say I have the vinyl pushed all the way back here. If I load the song again, now notice it repositioned it so it's locked all the way in right here. And it's always gonna end up here. So even if I take the vinyl off, if I load another song, load back to this one. If I load that again, notice I have to spin all the way forwards and it's always gonna land on the exact same spot. So again, if I pass that spot, if I have it on spin forwards, look, there's this giant gap, so I know I have to spin it all the way around to get to this point. Now, when could this be useful? So if you're a DJ that came from vinyl and is doing a lot of juggles or just quick queuing and don't have access to like controls on a mixer, on a sub controller or close to your laptop, you know that you can load a song and if you have it marked, it'll jump right to that point on the record so you know that, okay, I know my cues right here. I can just cue it up real quick without having to hit another cue point on my mixer or my controller or my keyboard. And it's going to line up. Now, not all of the vinyl is going to line up. Notice this does line up to the needle. But if I flip this over to the other side of the vinyl, have it playing. And I load it again. 
Notice the cue's here now. So these markers on the Serato vinyl will not match up. This is because the way that vinyl's pressed, they can't make sure that the stickers line up all the time for sticker sync. It's just gonna be uh, too hard of a process. So what you have to do for sticker sync is you have to find this starting point, like so, and then you have to mark the record yourself. So notice the other one was marked right here on the tone arm, but I actually, I mentioned earlier that I like it marked at 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my sticker, lay it down right there. Now it's on 12 o'clock. So even if I start the song, oh, I know it's gonna be right there. Same thing, right? So no matter where I cue it up, it's always gonna land at 12 o'clock or on this sticker because that's where I have it set up. Now let's go back to the setup. So we have three different options, right? So that's spin forwards. Now let me explain spin backwards. So it's basically the same thing, but if you're one of those DJs that are faster at back spinning than pushing forwards, which a lot of DJs are, this is useful as well. So if I have it set right here a little bit past 12 o'clock mark, Load it, notice it's right there. Same thing if I have it set right there. Because it's before, I actually have to spin it backwards to cue it up. So again, like if I have it right here and I load the song, I still have to spin it backwards. If I have it set before that, notice I have to spin it all the way back around to get it queued up again at 12 o'clock. Now this is cool because Serato gives you the preference if you're used to forward spinning the record, or if you're used to back spinning the record, there's an option there for you. But my preferred way to use sticker lock is actually this one right here, spin nearest. What this does is you can basically cut the record in half, right? So say you're right here, because it's on this side of the record, if I load the song, the nearest point is to just spin it back. Same thing, if I load it right here, the nearest thing is to spin it forward. So same thing, if it's right here, all the way back here, I just have to pull it back. Same thing right here, just have to push it forward. So for instance, if I was at spin backwards and I was right here, I'd have to spin the record all the way back around. But with spin nearest, I just have to put it up right here. And I just know it's always gonna be right there at 12 o'clock, uh, no matter which way I spin it, as long as it's on the, the closer half. So that's my preferred way because I really don't have a preference of back spinning or forward spinning. I just want to get there as quickly as possible. And to me, that's the quickest way is just using the spin nearest. And once you get used to it, it's pretty easy to, to work with. Now, another feature that's really associated with this also is we go to setup. The needle dropping, they improved uh, drop to key point in this recent update. So what this does, if we enable that, Notice on the record for Serato DJ, right here you can see that there's different sections, right? And in Serato DJ you get eight total cue points. So what this does is that each section will jump to a certain cue point. So for instance, if, since I have this turned on, if I jump to this first section, I'm gonna jump to the first cue point. If I move it to the second section, second cue point, third section, third cue point. So again, this is really cool if, like I mentioned earlier, if you're not next to your computer or if you don't have access to the cue points right away, you can use the actual vinyl with that option enabled to just jump through cue points using the actual vinyl. This can be kind of difficult if you know there's not a lot of lighting and a lot of times the track lights on turntables aren't working, but it, it, it is an option and it does work well. I'm happy to see it in Serato DJ. Uh, I personally won't be using this method as well because I always, you know, keep an extra controller around uh, to access my cue points and other functions in Serato DJ. But if you don't, it's good that the option's there. Uh, really easy to turn on and turn off and works really well. So that's a look at how to set up sticker sync in Serato DJ. So question today, are you gonna set up sticker sync for your setup? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you found this video useful, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there. Or if you'd like to see more content, go ahead and watch that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.